Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title today, I have some very exciting news to share with you, and that is that I am pregnant. I'm actually pretty far along now. I'm partway through my third trimester, expecting a little baby this summer. And that is the main reason why I haven't been around here as much lately. The fatigue set in in the first trimester, and I gotta tell ya, it never left. My capability for doing lots of videos on here has definitely been a lot less lately. And as many of you know, I've been working a lot with Michaels this year, making videos for their TikTok page. And I have been having so much fun with it. It is the best opportunity. I love working with them. So that is really where all of my spare energy has been pouring into the last few months. The last video I posted on this channel was that summer Tumblr video, and the short version of that is now at over 3 million views on the Michaels TikTok page, which just blows my mind. Thank you so much to everyone who has supported me and checked out those videos. It means so much to me. One of the most recent videos that I made for Michaels was a Father's Day DIY. So I thought today was the perfect time to share the extended version of that tutorial here on YouTube. For this DIY, we're going to be making a custom barbecue apron for all the dads in your life. So let's jump right in. To start with, I'm going into Cricut Design Space and adding a circle shape to my project. Now I'm duplicating it to make a second circle. Then I'm changing the color of this one just to make it easier to see. And I'm resizing that circle so it fits inside of the first circle, having a bit of the border of the first circle showing. Now I'm selecting both circles, then going over to the right and clicking on Slice. You can see I'm left with the two circles and also the outline of the first circle. And that is the only thing I'm going to be keeping from this. So I deleted the other two circles. Now I'm duplicating this shape and then again making the second one smaller and putting it inside of the first circle. Now to add some text. I'm writing out backyard barbecue. Then I'm selecting this and searching for the font that I'm going to be using, which is Microsoft Sans Serif. I'm making this a lot smaller and then I'm going over to the curve tool and then adjusting this bar until the words are curved the way I would like them to be inside of this circle. And I'm playing around with this quite a bit to get the sizing and the curving just right. Now I'm adding more text that says Grill Master and then making this the same font and the same curve but in the opposite direction and putting that at the bottom of the circle. Now I'm adding more text. This time it says Dad. And I'm changing this font to Cricut Sans. I'm expanding this to make it bigger and overlap the inner circle a little bit. Next up, I'm creating a rectangle with the Cricut shapes and adding it to the design. I'm putting it over top of the dad text and having it overlap the inner ring but not touching the outer ring. I sent the box behind the text just so I could actually see what was going on a little bit better. Now I'm selecting both the box and the inner ring, then clicking on Slice. Now I'm removing all of the parts I don't want, and I'm left with the inner circle being cut out so the dad text is not overlapping any of the lines. Now I'm going into the Cricut images and searching for a barbecue, and I filtered for free, so it's just showing me all of the free images. And I'm going to choose this little mini barbecue here. And I'm moving that up to the top of my design above the letter A. Next, I'm importing these barbecue tools, which is an SVG I found for free online. And I only want the first two tools, so I'm deleting the other two. And I'm resizing these to make them much smaller, and I want them to be crisscrossed below the word dad. To finish off this design, I'm going to be using the slice tool again. I'm adding another rectangle, this time just over top of the middle part of the A in dad. I'm selecting the dad text along with the small rectangle, then clicking on slice. Then I'm removing all the extra parts I don't want. 
And in this empty space of the A, I'm going to be putting established 2022. I put the EST and the 2022 in two separate text boxes so I could more easily control how far apart they were from each other. And then I also used the letter spacing tool, which is in the toolbar beside the font size to make the numbers closer together. Now I'm selecting my entire design and clicking on attach. I changed the color of the design to white since I'll be cutting it out with white vinyl, but this really doesn't matter at all. You can leave it whatever color in the design space and then just use whatever color you're planning to use on your Cricut mat. Since this is an iron-on project, it is very important to remember to click on mirror. Once you select that you're using everyday iron-on, it will remind you to turn on mirror and also to make sure your vinyl is shiny side down on the mat. I'm using my brayer tool and a Cricut scraper tool to make sure my vinyl is stuck down onto my mat. And now it's time to cut out my design. For this project, I'm using this black apron I found at Michael's. And before I do anything, I'm using a lint roller all over the apron to make sure there's no dust or hair before I iron on the design. Using my Cricut Easy Press 2, I'm preheating the area on the apron that I'm going to be ironing onto, holding it there for 10 seconds. I also have my Cricut Easy Press mat underneath the apron. I weeded out my design and now I'm arranging it onto the apron where I'd like it to go. Then I'm adding a layer of parchment paper over top of the design. Make sure to look up the heat guide on Cricut to know what temperature to set the Easy Press to and how long to hold it for. Now that the 30 seconds is up, I'm flipping the apron over and doing just a 15 second press on the back of the apron. Once everything is cool to the touch, it's time to peel off the transfer sheet. If you notice anything is not coming up really easily, then you may need to press that specific area again. And this is the finished custom barbecue apron, perfect for Father's Day, but of course you could also use any of these techniques to make other designs for any time of the year. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this fun Father's Day DIY. I'll leave the link to the short version of this tutorial on the Michaels TikTok page below. I would love for you to watch it and comment on it because all of your views and likes on those videos really help me out. And thank you so much, of course, for subscribing and watching me here on YouTube. And I'll see you next time.